Hi, I'm back with another video, and this is one of those weekends. You know how you have one of them days where you're like, you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, and you're like, maybe I ought to go back to bed, or try again, and roll up on the opposite side. Maybe it'll be better. That's how this weekend has been. So, it started on Friday. Um, like I said, if I could, I'd try to go back and change this weekend. But it started on Friday. Um, Chuck is, um, I found out today Chuck is um, going to see the doctor again on Monday. He went to see the doctor on Thursday. Thursday or Friday? I think it was Thursday or Friday. He went to see the doctor. And he has to go back to see the doctor again on Monday for something. So keep him in your prayers, please. And then Carol, she fell and hurt herself on Thursday or Friday. I think it was Thursday? I think it might have been Thursday. I can't remember. But she fell and hurt herself. Nothing was broken. But she sprained her ankle. She's in a boot, and I'm like, I understand that. I sprained my ankle, I think it was a couple years ago. Two, three years ago? Hurt, hurt, hurt. Oh my gosh, that hurt so bad. That was a long, long, painful <laughs> recovery. I was like, oh my gosh, it hurt so bad. I don't know if, I, I can't remember if I stepped down wrong when I went down off one of the stairs, or it was a hole. There, there's always this hole by the stairs, and we're always telling, like, watch out for that hole. So I don't know if I stepped down and hit that hole and that's what happened. And my knee, my um, ankle and stuff just buckled and I was on the ground. But like I said, that hurt, hurt, hurt. So I understand how she's feeling. I never thought that pain was going to end. And so please keep her in your prayers too. And so I was like, went grocery shopping on Friday. Everything, you know, was good. I had my moment leading up to, you know, like the bills, the groceries, the you know, money, anxiety, and, you know, like most people, you know, you have the anxiety of all that stuff, and, um, I realize I always have anxiety right before I go grocery shopping, like, you know, buying groceries, paying for bills and stuff, I always have, like, anxiety until it's over, and then I know everything's fine, I don't know why that is, might need to work on why that is, but I worry, but I do, and so when I went to do my grocery shopping, I was like, oh, um, you know, I'm set up to make a vlogmas video and take you guys with me. I didn't realize how many people were going to be there. It looked like the whole entire store was there. All the employees, all, they had music on, everything. I was like, okay, this is a first because anytime I'm in here, I'm usually the, either I'm the only one walking around because none of the employees have to be there, or, um, there's one or two here and there, um, people coming in you know, after me, as I'm leaving, um, you know, um, I'm walking and someone's leaving as I'm walking in to go grocery shopping. Heck, Thanksgiving, the day after, there was nobody in the grocery store. I was the only one in the people at the registers. The whole entire parking lot was pretty much empty. And people didn't come in until I was getting done and going to check out and then leaving. So I figured, you know, it might be one of those days, but I guess because it's Christmas time, more and more people are getting in there and doing their grocery shopping, checking out the Christmas stuff, you know, getting ready for the holidays and any stuff they have to do. So I was like, um, I was not expecting that. So I was a little disappointed. Maybe in the future I'll be able to do something like that. Maybe there won't be anybody in there. And then, um, so once I figured out how everything was going to be fine, you know, I still think everything's going to be fine. I just, you know, like I said, I just worry. And so I was like, pay what's this, pay the important bills. All the bills are important. But I was like, I can pay, you know, the insurance comes out automatically. So that has to be paid. And then I was like, the water bill doesn't, it's due on the 15th. But they give you like a little grace period where if you don't pay it right away, they send you a second notice and you have till the 26th. I'm pretty sure, you know, I will have it paid by the 26th. The 15th, mm, I don't know, but the 26th, I can guarantee I can pay it by the 26th. And then, like, I think it's like 30th or 31st, they shut your water off, and then it's $100 to get it turned back on. And um, unless you call them and you talk to them about, like, make a payment plan or changing the day you need to pay. Because one time my mom forgot. Because we were going to go pay the water bill and then the dumpster. Because the dumpster place didn't have 
um, if that change or any money. So they couldn't break anything for you or give you change. And I remember my mom one time, I think, went in there and she didn't know it. So we started with the dumpster because they were closest. And then the girl said, well, we don't have it. But I think she pulled her change out of her purse because my mom went through her purse, pulled out what change she had. And then I think the girl gave my mom some of her change. And then the next time we went up there, they had a sign on the door because they didn't have any signs up. They didn't. I don't think they had any on the bill. And the next time we went in, like I said, they had a sign on the door that said, we do not have money. Exact amount only. So that's when we started going to pay the water bill first and then head to the dumpster. And so my mom had forgotten because I want that day we were going to go do it. Change plan, you know, change, change plans, plans changed. And you know how that happens, you know, all of a sudden you, you're set, you know where you're going, you know what you're doing. And that was how it was, was my mom was like, we're going to go do all this. And then we're going to go by the water place and then we're going to go by the dumpster. And then we're going to come home. And then, you know, s you know, sit down, rest, do whatever, and then get ready for dinner. And so I was like, okay. And so when we were going to do that, the dumpster bill had not come in, I believe. So my mom was going to go pay because she knew how much it was. And so she was like, I'll just, when the bill comes in, I'll just write it down that it was paid and, you know, when and all that. And our plans changed. And so we were not able to go do that that day. So my mom was like, oh, I'll just, you know, I think, I don't know if she set it on the table or she put it back in her purse. And then the dumpster bill came in and she, I don't think she thought anything about it till the second water bill came in. And then she went, oh my gosh. And so we went rushing in there and she told them how sorry she was. And they're like, oh, they said, we knew that something must have happened. You know, you forgot because they said a lot of times that's what happens. People forgot. And, you know, they, then they're running and they're going, I'm so sorry. Because at that time, you only, you, the only way you could pay them was in person, through their not de night deposit. Anytime during the day and at night, you could drop, you could either drop it off in there um, at night or during the day. They were standing there so they could take it from you and do whatever they had to do. And, um, or mail it in. Now, they, they stopped the in-person because of 2020, they stopped the in-person. But they now have a phone number that you can pay. Because used to, I believe, you could call and you could pay over the phone and talk to them. Now they have a pay over the phone. But it's an automated thingy. And then you can still mail it in, drop it off the night deposit, or pay it online. My mom missed out on some of those, getting to see that stuff happen. But um, she, they, when she went in there and they told them, oh, don't worry, the you know, the... It was just the second one, and then, you know, after the 26th, that's when they, you know, would get ready to turn your water off. And one time, one of our neighbors, she didn't know how she was going to pay her water bill because it was an outrageous amount. And my mom was like, oh, well, how much is it? Because she thought about paying her for it until she found out how much it was. And my mom was like, that is a lot of money. That is more than, you know, we were, she was shocked. She thought it would be like 50 or something, you know. She was like, I thought it would be like, you know, $100 or less. It was over 100 and so she told her to call them, go in there in person or call them and t talk to them about doing a make a payment plan or to set a date that you can pay it. And then, you know, she said their, their, I think their bills and I think on their website, I think they tell you, you know, about that, that you can make a payment or if you can't pay, make a payment, um, talk to them about changing a day and doing it and that kind of thing. So they're, they're lenient on that. Just as long as you call and let them know what's going on. Because one time I got a second bill because I wasn't able to pay right away. But I knew I would pay it after the date. So they sent the bill and then I paid it and then I called them. And I let them know that I paid it. And where how I did it. And they thanked me and they said okay. And then I think they said they, they saw it. The girl told me they saw it. She saw it on the computer. That I had paid it. And so I was good. But they thanked me anyway, so I figured that's what I would do if I had to either, you know, call them and let them know when I was going to pay it, so they know, and then let them know when I did. And so I felt a little bit better about that. And the electric company is another one that if you had to, you could call them and do a make a payment. I don't really want to do that, but I think when it comes time for them to be paid, we I should be good if I don't have any money between now and then. I should be good on paying them. It's not going to be like... 
over their date because of course theirs comes out theirs is um due right before Christmas as usual. So Merry Christmas, you know. And so once I calm down, because all the things I've bought that you see in the videos, especially in the vlogmas, I've already bought most of it. I've just hadn't made a video. And then, you know, I'm like some of that stuff came from Ollie's or it's been dirt cheap, you know, like a dollar something, 99 cents, things like that. So it's been dirt cheap. And so I already have it, a lot of it. And so when I went grocery shopping, I was like, I'm going to treat myself to something. You know, I haven't had um, farm rich cheddar, cheese, cheddar cr cheese curd things in a while. Oh my gosh. Friday just turned real bad. So everything was fine on Friday. Went grocery shopping, like I said, calming myself down. I'm good. You know, I added a couple of things that I didn't know I was going to do or need. And then I decided, like I said, I was going to eat the farm rich cheddar cheese curds because I'm like I haven't had them forever they sounded so good and so I split it in half and put the rest of it in the refrigerator and I'm like I mean freezer I'm like I can eat those another time and that way I got two you know two times and I put it in and everything was good I always flip the stuff over just to make sure the other side gets the crispy too and then I put it back in the oven everything was fine and then I pulled the pan out and I went to go turn it off and to move the pan. Well, the pan ended up getting stuck on the stove. And I was like, okay, that's the first. So I went to try to get it off there with the towel. And it was having a hard time. So I slid it. And I was like, okay, it's good. It's going to come off there. All of a sudden, the pan just flew off the stove and hit the ground. And so did the cheddar things. I was like, really? I was so mad. I was like, oh my gosh. So those got ruined. Cats went flying. And then I decided I'd go ahead and make the second batch because I'm like, I really want them. I really need them now. And I made them, brought them in, and had no issues, turned the oven off, had no issues with the pan, changed them to a plate, um, brought them in, and they started eating them. And I... I ended up making, I don't know, if, I don't know if it was too much jetted stuff at once or what, but all of a sudden I was, my stomach started hurting like whenever I have too much dairy. And so I was like, oh my gosh, so I was, I, but I didn't feel that for a few hours like usual. And so that went over the night and then I woke up and then I took a, a dairy pill thingy and then I started to feel much better so I think maybe there was too much cheese for me at that moment and it was just a few pieces but I guess it was just since I hadn't had it in a while my stomach was having a real hard time with that and so yeah so I spent Friday night early into Saturday morning feeling kind of nauseous <laughs> and feeling quite sickly on that matter and then Saturday I was waiting to find out if I won a contest I didn't I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, of course. So then, um, before that, my dad and I, you know, we always watch soccer on Saturday and check all the scores on stuff on my phone and on the internet, you know. And then Sunday is a mix of soccer and football, NFL football. So we start out watching soccer, and then we switch over to NFL games, unless it's the games we don't want to see, and then we flip back over to watching soccer. And so I was in the middle of sitting there, and um, I was checking, I was reading a story on my phone, and my dad came in, and he was eating a peppermint. I don't know if he put it in his mouth when he came in the, from the kitchen, or he, when he sat down. All of a sudden, I heard him coughing, and I looked back, and he's standing up trying to cough. And he, you, I waited for him to, um, you know, cough, you know, cough it up, because I'm like, oh my gosh, I think he, he's choking, or... It went down wrong because sometimes when that happens he looks at me and he's like i'm good i'm fine you don't have to worry and then we were i waiting to make sure and so he's standing there and he's coughing and all of a sudden he falls back into the chair he's still coughing he's still coughing then he falls back in the chair and i don't hear anything and it looked like his eyes were like um trying to roll back or whatever and i was like um i don't think you i'm like oh my gosh he's not coughing anymore so i'm trying to figure out how to flipping to the side to get it to come out or you know 
dislodge itself or whatever it was doing. And finally, I could hear him coughing again. And apparently, it came out or dislodged itself. And he looked at me and he goes, like, what? I think that's what he said. I think he said, what? And I went, um, you, I told him all about what happened. I said, you went from coughing to you fell into the chair. Your eyes look like they're trying to roll into the, your head. And I, you weren't doing anything. It's like you weren't making any noise. And it scared me there for a second. I'm like, oh my God, is, is he going to die? And then I finally, like I said, finally got it to come up or do whatever, whatever it was doing. And he said it went down wrong. And I'm like, well, it was kind of, you know, it was, it was very upsetting. It took a while before I calmed down and he, he finally relaxed again and he was fine. Like I said, he was like, what, what's, what happened? And it's like, he didn't even know it when I told him about it. I said, yeah, you fell into the chair and then your eyes started doing that weird thing. And then I told him, I said, you aren't coughing anymore. And then I told him I managed to get you to move to roll over. And then that's when I started trying to get him to get it out. And then he was like, I'm fine. And then, of course, after that, he was like, you know, he still felt weird from what happened. I'm like, yeah, I said, well, I'm so, I was like, and yeah, I finally calmed down myself. Because that was really, really freaking scary. And I, it reminded me of one time I almost choked on a cucumber I was eating. And the cucumber got, I don't know if it got lodged in there or it went down wrong. I think it got lodged in there or something. And my mom and dad, we were all eating, and all of a sudden my mom and dad looked at me, and I was like, what's wrong? Because I was holding on to the table. And that's when my mom realized I was like, because I can't remember if I made any noise or not. And that's when she realized I was choking, so she managed to get it to come out. And then she told me how one time she almost choked. It was a cake crumb. Her and my great-grandma were making cake, and she was eating it, and one of the cake crumbs went down wrong. Or... I went down wrong and all of a sudden she said she was wheezing all over the place and my great grandma was freaking out trying to get it to come out when she realized she was choking so today today Saturday was a very eventful day on um, hoping that I could get into that peppermint to come up or go down or whatever we were trying to do so he wouldn't die so today was one rough day and I'm like yeah, I think these last few days, if I could, I'd roll back over and try again. <laughs> and so, he's doing good. He he ate, he, he napped, he watched TV, and he's fine. And, like I said, I finally calmed down after a few hours of thinking, oh my gosh, and making sure he was okay. So, like I said, for these last few days have been a really rough few days. I'm scared what Sunday is going to look like. So I just thought I'd do a quick little chit chat on how these last few days have been and keep everybody in the prayers. Thank you for watching. Bye.